Welcome back everyone, I'm Hello Goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about what is coming into your life next. So I'm going to try and include as many messages as possible so I can talk about what's coming into your life next when it comes to love, when it comes to your finances and your profession. So we have two options this time. The very first option is Queen of Swords on the left and then we have Queen of Wands on the right, which is the second option. The timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual. And with that being said, let's move on to the first option, Queen of Swords. Okay, so if you've chosen the option number one, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have Ten of Cups, then we have King of Cups, Three of Swords. Then we have the Star card, the World card, King of Wands, knight of swords two of wands um so those are all of the cards that i got for you and at the bottom of the deck i have the six of swords so those are all of the cards and i have a couple of cards off camera so the topic of today's video is um i actually got an idea from somebody in the comments um they asked me to make a video on like what's coming for you but i always make videos like what's coming for you next you know like in the upcoming two months at max but they also said that i should include the rest of the year as well so this video is going to be all about what's coming for you and what's coming into your life next so obviously what's coming into your life soon but also i'm going to talk about what is coming into your life uh, for the rest of the year for the rest of 2024 so we're going to see that and there's going to be a long one so stay tuned and let's see what do we have okay i feel like there's going to be there's a person that's coming into your life or there is something happening in your life in in this year i feel which is going to really like turn everything around almost like your life is going a certain way but then it's almost like it's going to shift to a different direction that's kind of what it looks like somebody could be a libra yeah somebody could also be a leo um and an aquarius i see but the person that's coming into your life i feel like they have a water sign somewhere prominently placed because i i see that somebody could have a strong water placement scorpio cancer pisces yeah for some of you if there was somebody who did something wrong to you like if someone broke your heart or something like that this person is like the justice is being served i'm hearing very loud and clear so the justice is being served do you don't have to worry about that don't go back to it again and again yeah that's kind of what i see and i'm also hearing the word reminiscing somebody could be reminiscing you the memories that they shared with you yeah yeah and i also do feel that um for some of you um there are some people who are probably like revisiting some of their old memories or i don't know i feel like um, there's an energy of someone who is thinking about their past or like rethinking things and stuff like that. And I feel like that chapter is closed. That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody has a thick voice. Like a rich and thick voice. Not that deep. Maybe slightly. But they're kind of focusing on the word thick. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody is getting visions. You're either going to get visions in like 
from your guides and angels or you might have dreams where you're going to see stuff and you're going to receive messages and you're going to receive guidance from your guides so something about visions or somebody's clairvoyance you know clairvoyance is all about the third eye so somebody's clairvoyance is like enhancing or like activating that's the word yes I'm hearing somebody is also going to be hit with realizations like it's almost like there was something you didn't know at a point but now you're gonna know why it happened the way it did or like you're going to have some answers which you were probably looking for for such a long time and you're finally going to get the answers I see somebody's going to plan a road trip because I see a minivan yeah something about that so road trip it doesn't have to be in a minivan but that's the energy yeah there might be some people who will try to come back to you from the past some sort of energies which are trying to connect with you you know try to ward off those energies I feel like that's what you would do that's your first instinct um, but don't get carried away I'm hearing ward off these energies they are not they're up to no good I'm hearing yeah okay let's see what else if you're going to visit somewhere i feel like the place are you going to do that during the summertime or there's something about the place being like hot you know the weather is really hot not really but like it is comparably yes There's something coming in your life which you're not expecting this. This is like when this thing or when this blessing is going to enter your life, you're almost going to ask yourself, you know, your entire life is going to feel, um, I don't know what word to use, but it's almost like um, you're going to feel like you've just entered the most blissful era of your life that's how it's going to feel there is some big blessing coming towards you which which i feel like you have no idea about because i feel like you're already you have a lot on your plate right now and you're dealing with a lot of things and a lot of things are also going on in your mind so i feel like this is not even going to cross your mind or i feel like it's it's not really particularly hidden because i don't see the moon card in your reading in your reading but I can say that you're just really preoccupied with stuff somebody could be an Aries I see and talking about new beginnings I do see there is something new coming in but I feel like before this new thing comes in or before this new experience or this new era of your life starts to unravel this is almost like this is um this is not just one thing and this is not just um you know like something that's going to come into your life and then um like it's not something small this is like it's going to affect almost all areas of your life to be honest i mean that's what it feels like so i feel like before that either you will have to say i'm hearing you have to say goodbye to someone or something maybe you'll have to say goodbye to something or someone or you will have to choose a different way this time i'm hearing a different way than what you are used to and then this enters or maybe this is going to enter around that time i see that too yes um okay i see somebody going to some sort of a celebration or 
it's some sort of a party and I do a lot I do see a lot of people like dancing and the dance appears to be so um, I don't know I don't know what like what word he is but it's almost like like they all seem to be in such high spirits and like they're all so energetic that's the best way I can describe the dance yeah so enthusiastic I'm hearing, I don't know, they just reminded me of the actor Benedict Cumberbatch. So, I don't know what about that. Um, yeah, never mind. So, you know, um, there are a lot of people who are going to be talking about you. First, they're going to be noticing you a lot. They're going to be probably giving you advices. They're going to be pushing information down your thro- down your throat. Um, it's almost like these people probably don't know your potential yet. Or maybe you think that they don't know your potential. Maybe they do. But afterwards, when you're going to reach the time in our life when you're going to be really happy, you know, the era that I was talking about. Um, the new era. I feel like at that time, all of these people are just going to be talking about you. But it's almost like these people are in background. You know, I don't really see these people like in the upfront. They're not really talking to you, but they're talking about you to some other people. So it's almost like, but it doesn't have to be like gossip. It doesn't have to be like something bad. I mean, people are going to be talking about different, different stuff. But it's almost like um, all of these people who are talking about you, they're like really amazed, you know, at what you have or like what you've become or what you've achieved, you know. I think it's also kind of about your life. I feel like people are really um, enamored by what you have or what you will have. But I do see people talking. And it's happening at that event, what whichever you're going to like go to. Not just at that event. I feel like people are just going to be talking about you in general. But, yeah. Just be aware of protecting your inner circle. I feel like you're going to be meeting up with some people, you know. The kind of people who are going to be really... Like, they're going, they're going to connect with you but I feel like you need to protect yourself and um, you know not let any information out yes I also do see that there's someone who is disappointed with something. Like when are we watching it, you're disappointed with something. Something you've given so many trials to. Like you've been trying for so long, but all you have... It's almost like somebody saying, all I have got is failure, you know? Nothing else. But it's almost like you're disappointed with the progress of something or like... Or it could even be a relationship. You know, you've given your all, but like you have not gotten what you think you deserve. And I feel like finally, I'm hearing things are going to change. Um, and, and that's going to be in your favor. So no more dark nights that you will have to spend alone or like thinking and like, yeah no more of disappointment and i'm also hearing for some of you okay i just heard out of the blue that something about baking maybe somebody's baking a cake or something or there is a cake i see a cake you know but i also heard the word baking so maybe somebody's getting into that or somebody is literally baking something yeah and 
I'm also hearing you're going to be receiving a lot of gifts. Or somebody's going to be giving you a lot of gifts. Oh, okay. If there is someone coming towards you, it's almost like someone's deciding what to give you. They have so many things in mind, but they're deciding what to give you. I see that. Or you're going to be giving someone gifts and you are deciding what to give someone. Like what would be the right choice? There's also a song that's been going on in my mind, like right from the very beginning, maybe not the beginning, but like after some time, it kind of got in my head and it's not leaving. So I'm, I think you guys need to know. Here's a song called um, Silhouette. Listen to that one. I'm not aware of the artist, but maybe that song has some message for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Okay, so I I can see first of all somebody's drinking milk. But at night, I see. And I see that there's something or there is someone or a certain situation which is taking away your peace, you know? Your peace of mind. It's almost like Yeah, I can see it. It's almost like you're scared of it. Or you're scared of the outcome. Or you're scared of what's going to happen. Something of that kind. Or you've been scared of something. There's fear around a certain area of your life. But you don't have to be scared. Because there are... I can see there is an energy or an entity around you. This could be your guide. This could be your angel. But there is an entity around you. You're probably not... No, okay. So, my guides are saying you are not aware of that entity. But this uh, this entity that's around you, they're always warding off any sort of, like, bad energies or, like, anything that's... I don't know why they're making me use the word wild and evil. So, one of the two, I don't know, whichever you resonate with. So, any of the wild energies that are trying to come in contact with you they are always warding off those sorts of energies they're not yeah so you are being protected you are not unprotected that's that's what i want you to know there's something significant about the number four also yeah I'm hearing there is something that's on the brink of entering your life. And I feel like you are about to. It's almost like something is entering your life, but you cannot experience it. Maybe you can feel that something's coming or someone's coming in your life. Maybe you can feel it through your intuition. Maybe your guides are going to tell you, you know, before something happens, like something grand. We kind of do get some sort of like a feeling, like a strong feeling, a premonition could be for someone. But I feel like you're going to have that. But you cannot experience it until you do this one thing. Until you cut ties with something. Something needs to go. So that's for someone. And... I'm also getting for those of you who are wanting to I feel like this pile is more so about like talking about personal relationships and like love I don't really see this being gravitated towards 
finances but one thing i do want to say is your entire life and i'm also including finances and your profession in this your entire life is going to become stable you know you're going to achieve stability in all areas of your life even if you cannot see even if you're not aware of or like if you cannot see how that's going to happen that will take place so don't worry about that do not worry about like do not i'm hearing do not fear the unknown and do not worry about the unknown don't worry about what steps you're going to take next everything's going to fall into place you're also going to receive some sort of help along the way and regardless of all the problems and all the all of the obstacles you will rise above all of this not saying just this, just for the sake of saying okay if you're watching it and if you may if you have made up to um like up till this point in the video i mean it i see it in the cards so stability in the form of a relationship i know you cannot see it i know you know there's someone in this file who's almost like you know i don't see it happening like they're so i wouldn't use the word stubborn but it's almost like they're not hopeful about things in life which i know it makes sense if somebody has gone through some experiences but i do see stability coming i do see um something stable something promising you know as i was talking about that new era of your life that is coming into your life and we also do have the star card the star is just amazing star also talks about everything being reformulated or like everything being reinvented it's like a complete renewal of your entire life that's what the star is all about so i'm going to finish off this file right here if you liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so if you've chosen the option of a second, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have 10 of pentacles, then we have the moon card, 5 of cups, the lovers, then we have 9 of swords, 8 of cups, the magician, and the queen of pentacles for you all. So those are all of the cards that I got for you. Now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to what's coming in your life next. And also I'm going to include, because I got an idea from a comment, um, somebody was saying that i should make a video on what's coming in the rest of 2024 so i'm going to include that bit as well alongside what's coming next for you guys which i always do so let's see what do we have for this topic from our guides i see a yellow flower somebody has that in their home or somebody's going to give it to you or somebody gave it to you in the past something about i don't know why they're being so specific with the color but it's yellow you know there's someone who's not um let me see this person is not speaking with you let me see what else I feel like whoever has chosen pile number two, your pile is a bit, it's almost like it's closed off. But let me describe it. Whoever has chosen this pile, I feel like they're really wanting to know about a certain area of their life, like a specific area. And that's the one that the universe is like, okay, not right now. Now, right now is not the right time. That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I 
I'm hearing soon your life is going to be like is going to be filled with distractions, but do not let it distract you. And the kind of distractions they're talking about are the ones that are genuinely going to feel good. You know, this is not something which is going to be like stress or something. You know, it's going to be there in your life, and you're going to be so worried about things. No, that's not what it feels like. This feels like maybe there are going to be a lot of people. Um, or like who are going to be approaching you, or you're going to be going to certain places or certain events, and there's a lot that's happening in your life and a lot of distractions. And when these distractions are going to be taking place, the universe is planning something behind the scenes, and it's not oh okay, so it's not really important. If you get carried away or not, it's almost like these distractions are put in place so the universe can do what they need to do because we have the moon card, and things need to be hidden. Whatever, like the big surprise that the universe has got for you, they wouldn't be able to deliver it, or it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be the way the universe has planned it for you if you were to intervene. And they don't want you to intervene, so I feel like that's why these distractions are coming up. I just heard out of the blue Elvis, something about this name, or maybe somebody's a fan of Elvis, or is listening to Elvis. Okay, I'm hearing somebody has a slim face, or somebody recently lost a lot of weight, and it kind of affected. The fat on your face, like maybe your face is more defined and like you know sharp looking. That's kind of what it feels like. I'm hearing somebody's birthday is coming up. It doesn't have to be yours, but someone's birthday is coming up, and you're gonna go somewhere. If it's not yours, then you're going to be probably meeting up with someone. Like, I don't know, you're going to be reuniting with someone or some people. Something about someone's birthday. Yeah. I see two people. Two people are coming towards you, but I feel like these people are not important. Or maybe two people are present in your life, and they are probably pursuing you, or something of that kind. We are going to be meeting up with two people. This does not have to be romantic, okay? This could just simply be friends or like family members or something of that kind. But I am hearing the number two. Something about that. Number six is also really significant for you guys. I'm hearing this has got to stop. I heard it very loud and clear. Like somebody said, this has got to stop. And also somebody saying, "Are you kidding me?" Yes,、yeah, something, something like that. Okay, so let's see what else. I'm also hearing the word Easter, something about Easter. Someone's hair is getting curly. Maybe you got some, I don't know, some sort of treatment or like whatever you do to get your hair that way. Or maybe there, like someone's hair is naturally curly, or something like that. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm hearing. The kind of okay, I'm. They're making me talk about your finances. Um, so you've been putting in a lot of effort into something, and it's almost like you've been getting the results. 
but not the type of results which are going to make you like which are going to which is going to make you celebrate you know but i do feel an energy of celebration so it's almost like the kind of results you've been seeing they're only half-hearted results and you're going to be seeing massive growth very soon immense this is crazy this is gonna blow your mind away honestly so somebody's going to be witnessing a lot of growth in their profession in their finances um in that area of their life yeah and i'm also hearing somebody's leaving something there's something in your life which you are leaving like you're never going to come back to it whatever this thing is if it's a connection it just got too taxing and overwhelming and even probably toxic for some of you but if it is not if they're not talking about a connection they're talking about something else then this is something which again got really burdensome for someone and you just didn't want to do it anymore yeah so maybe it's not happening right now but in the future you're going to um cut cords with whatever this is somebody is also learning a new new language sorry um so it could be I don't know some sort of but I feel like it's going to be a European language they're saying to be specific but something about a new language yes I also do see somebody meditating or doing something and their hands are like in a certain position you know a specific type of posture this person has and i can see it they're showing it to me in their hands the way they're they've kept their hands when this person is like meditating or doing whatever they're doing something specific about the posture of hands yeah someone someone has really perfect teeth something about their teeth or their smile like this person has a really perfect looking smile but this emphasis is on the teeth for some reason something about a white rose or like a white flower but i feel like rose it is a rose yeah Oh, okay. I'm hearing you are going to become the person that you've always wanted to become. There is a specific idea or like an ideal in your life or in your mind. There's there's something in your mind, you know, very specific I can see. It could be a vision, it could be an idea as I said. Whatever this is, somebody wants to be on that plane or somebody wants to be that person that they always like look up to or they always see themselves in that light you're going to become that soon and if there are any hardships coming along the way or if there's something happening which is making you feel like your patience is being tested don't worry you're moving in the right direction there's nothing wrong with what's going on yeah and you are doing absolutely perfect somebody sun sign could be in a fire sign aries leo sagittarius somebody could also be a fire sign like you know their moon sign or rising could be in fire as well 
I'm hearing the things and the people that were not nice for you at a certain point. They're going to become nice for you. The situations that were not in your favor at a certain point are going to be in your favor. You are going to... Okay, this one is really magical. I'm like literally taken aback by this message. It's so crazy, but at a certain point in your life, there were things and there were people and the situations where you felt like everyone was... Like everything was just against you, you know? You felt that things were unfair, people treated you poorly or something like that. It's almost like you never were really contented with how things were happening in your life. But somehow, in the future I see, very soon, again, um, I see the tables are turning and also at the same time, things are changing at a pace which is going to be like i'm hearing the word incomprehensible for you things are going to be changing and you're going to be i see someone screaming with joy like it's almost like someone's freaking out but everything in our life is going to turn around as i said the people the situations and everything is going to be how you always wanted it to be The things that used to feel gloomy at a time, the people who used to make you feel bad or who tried to bring you down are going to admire you. This one is so different. I, there's something about the month of October that's coming up the most in your reading. And also, um, yeah, that's the time. someone's skin is looking really nice it's almost like glowing and like i don't even know how to describe it but it's so absolutely perfect you know that's how that's how i would describe this you are going to be the happiest the happiest if you are in this energy you know the eight of cups like if you are sad or like disappointed with things in the past Believe me, every single thing is going to turn around in your favor. So, please, just have faith. There's something about music. Maybe somebody likes to sing. Maybe somebody's going to sing for you. Or you're going to sing for someone. But something really specific about music. Maybe somebody's connected to music. Maybe someone is into music. Maybe somebody's a musician or something. Or a songwriter but something about music I'm hearing L somebody's name could start with L I'm also getting an M I'm getting a C yeah that's what I'm getting Yeah, I also do see you're going to be traveling to a, I'm hearing a totally different land, like to a foreign land, you know, I see you traveling there. But I don't see you alone, you are with someone. I'm also hearing actions speak louder than words. You don't have to explain anything to anyone. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Your actions are powerful enough. You're really, like your efforts, they're being recognized by the universe. Do not think that they're being unnoticed. Or even your tears, they're also not being unnoticed. Yeah.
there's something about. I think this was the pile where I talked about a yellow flower, and they're bringing my attention back to the color yellow or like that flower again. Something about that. Is someone getting married or something, or are you meeting up with your life partner? Because I see the sun card in my mind, which is not about marriage. You know, it doesn't talk about that, but. For some reason, I have that feeling. In talking about it, I also、uh, my attention is being gravitated towards the lowest card. I'm hearing there is such a huge surprise that the universe has got for you that it's going to not just blow your mind away, but you're going to freak out. I see you freaking out over something. Like, I'm hearing the word internally screaming, you know, because of how grand it's going to be, and also at the same time how brilliant, how brilliantly it's going to be brought in your life. Yeah, I'm. That's that's the vibe. I'm hearing someone's name could be Zach. There's also a specific type of bird, but it's a small bird. You know, it's not like a hawk or an eagle. But there's a bird I see. Maybe you're going to receive messages from your guides because birds are usually indicative of messages. You're going to receive. Some messages before this big event happens, so just keep that in mind. I also hear you are elevating. You're going up and up and up in your life without even realizing, or maybe it's become so natural to you. It's become like almost second nature to you that you don't realize that you're leveling up, but you are leveling up. Yes. I'm also hearing things are about to take a different turn. Somebody's moon sign could be in a water sign. That could be the case as well. Or somebody could have a water sign somewhere prominently placed. I do want to say that someone's intuition is getting sharper, or you're being more and more connected to either an entity. A specific entity, or you're being connected to your, like, your intuition is your higher self. You're being connected to that. Yes. Again, some emphasis on the teeth. I don't know why they're bringing up the teeth again and again. Um, yeah. And so that's um that's what I'm getting. But you know what? I kind of feel like the messages are still coming. Okay, one last thing I want to say before I close off this reading: your entire reading, especially the future, you know, when they're talking about that. Time period where everything is going to be elevated. It has such a. It has such a joyful vibe attached to it that I just cannot even、um, put my finger on. Like, what does it feel like? Is it feels magical? You know. So yeah, with that, I'm going to end this pile. And if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind. That this is a general reading, so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me, and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.